Hi there, this is Stephen Foskett from Foskett's.net, and today I'm trying to debug some issues I've been having with um, iTunes Match. Now this is a really cool service because it allows you to upgrade and go legit on your music collection. Um, you know, if you've got some older MP3s, or maybe you uh, got them from Amazon, or maybe you even downloaded them illegally, um, you can use iTunes Match to get the full correct uh, Apple official iTunes Plus version. The trouble is that there are some limits to what um, iTunes Plus will do. So for example, um, I created a smart playlist here to detect um, anything that are any ineligible um, songs. And you can see, for example, that um, you know the, uh, the Cheap Trick uh, Live at Budokan here is um, marked as ineligible. Uh, why is that? Um, let's take a look. Um, it, right here is the reason, bitrate 32 kilobits. Now it's not really a 32 kilobit mp3, what it is is it's a variable bitrate mp3, but Apple sees this as too low bitrate for it to um, allow you to upgrade. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to fix this. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag, this is the whole album, um, if I start at hello there, I go down to clock strikes 10, this is the whole at Budokan album. So I'm going to drag this out of here and save a copy of it in this folder here uh, just in case, just in case something should happen. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create an AAC version. Now this is the alternative codec, so these are MP3s. I'm basically creating a, a, a different copy of each of these files. Um, you can see that it's um, converting them here and then they all appear here. Um, now to Apple, this is a different file, but it's not a different song. So iCloud has already looked at these and already seen these. And um, once this is done, um, if I was to add these to iCloud, it would see these as duplicates and it still wouldn't upgrade them. But what we're going to do now is uh, once this finishes, I'm going to um, delete the old files and even remove them from iCloud. Then I'm going to add these new AAC versions uh, to iCloud and see what Apple will do with them, see if it'll recognize them as eligible for an upgrade. Um, this is, you know, something that I'd really like to do. You know, this is a CD that I have, you know, buried somewhere in boxes. Um, I haven't really listened to it in a long, long time, the CD that is, but I listen to the, the songs on, on iTunes all the time. Um, it's just something I ripped years and years ago. and. Um, you know, it's funny, these days I end up buying CDs, but I don't actually listen to them. I just immediately rip them um, as MP3 or AAC and stick them in iTunes and, you know, listen to them this way. Um, so, uh, you know, if, if I wanted to, I could dig out the CD, I could re-encode them directly from the CD to AAC, then I could submit them to iTunes and I bet Apple would accept them. But this is just an easier way to do it. Um, so... Uh, you know, and, and the cool thing too is that this is completely legal. You know, I like to try to keep my music collection legal, um, just for you know, because I guess I'm an old-fashioned kind of guy. But um, you know, here we go. Good night is almost there. Um, and this way, you know, you basically have a completely legal uh, copy because you've used uh, iTunes Match correctly. Um, but of course this could be used with any song, whether it's legal or not. Um, there's no reason that you can't do that. Alright, there we go. So now I've created the iTunes, and these are still selected, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and delete these. Um, Apple asks me if I want to delete them from iCloud, and I do. Uh, normally you would not want to do this, because of course this is getting rid of your only copy, but I did save a copy. Now you'll see that the status for all of these is, is, is waiting. So this is the iCloud waiting status. Again, they're all AEC files. These should all be eligible. So I'm going to right click and click add to iCloud. It's gathering information. It's waiting. Let's see what happens here. Um, this should also work for files that are just not matched. Uh, basically, this is a way to force iTunes match to give the file another look and see if maybe it had a uh, inappropriate uh, you know, match. I, I'm not really sure how Apple is matching these. It looks like they're using some kind of audio fingerprinting technique, but clearly it's um, it's flawed because sometimes you know you'll go through and you'll see songs, you know, albums that it it obviously does have, 
and then you know it just didn't get one of the songs like here's cherry pop and daddy's you know this one song it didn't get that doesn't make any sense that it wouldn't have that one song all right great so now it, it, they've all changed status to match now we're going to up, upgrade them um, because honestly I don't want to have mp3 files that have been converted to AAC I don't want that in my library so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and delete all these songs this time instead of deleting them from iCloud I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna leave that unchecked and I'm just gonna delete songs and I'm actually gonna move these files to the trash because I don't really care about them these are those temporary AAC versions then I select the whole album again it says matched and you see that we've got the little iCloud download here now I could just leave it like this um, and stream them over the internet but what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna go ahead and right click and select download now it's downloading the official Apple 256k AAC versions of these files so when this is done and you can see that there's a progress indicator here it does three at a time on my computer I'm not sure what it'll do on yours but it's downloading them and uh, when this is done I'm gonna have the official Apple version of this album um, one thing that it will do is it'll keep all of my metadata so it won't automatically give me the album artwork or any kind of lyrics or anything like that so you know that's well good and bad because maybe I maybe I really like my metadata maybe I have done some special things with genres or something like that but I'll probably go ahead and clean that up as well and download the artwork once we're done but um, basically what I've done here is I've I've fixed it um, back you know before I had a bunch of variable bitrate songs that Apple wouldn't let me upgrade I went ahead and converted those to AAC and now it will let me upgrade them so um, there you have it that's how you fix um, a song that iTunes match uh, won't allow you to match and upgrade I hope you enjoyed it uh, also you can visit me at uh, blog.foskits.net for more information kinda like this thanks <laughs>